first a quick shout out to Michelle Grassick of modernacu.com. She inspired me to make this video because she tweeted about my practice pad video. So I thought I'd show you uh, one of my crazy inventions I did uh, when I was in school uh, to help me practice needle insertion. So there's three main techniques that I see practitioners use to insert the needle. One, they'll just, they'll just kind of tap it in like this. I prefer to flick it in this way or this way. So how can you practice that motion? You could practice it on the practice pad, but every time you flicked it in, you'd have to pull it out and put it back in the tube and do it again. So I, when I was in school, I wanted to find a way that I could just get a lot of repetitions in and not have to carry my practice pad around. So I made the little gizmo like this. So this makes the needle uh, spring loaded. So it, it's spring loaded. It'll pop up every time after you hit it. It's pretty simple to make and I'm going to show you how to make this this tool uh, in this video and then you can practice to your heart's content it's easy to carry carry around in your pocket and you can just practice it multiple times during the day so these are the items you'll need to make this project uh, first thing you need you need some needles uh, the the one that I'm making today is going to be out of a two inch needle a one and a half inch needle might work uh, a two and a half inch needle might also work uh, the gauge of the needle is fairly important i would use a 0.35 millimeter or 0 0.40 millimeter that's chinese 28 gauge or 26 gauge maybe you could use a 0 0.30 millimeter which would be a chinese 30 gauge needle that might also work it's just the thinner needle i don't know how it would how well it would stand up to the abuse of hitting it a bunch but uh, this one is a, a 0.35 millimeter by uh, 50 millimeter next you'll need a paper clip you'll need a ballpoint pen uh, a retractable type of ballpoint pen pretty much any any type of retractable ballpoint pen should work you don't need the whole pen what you need is you need to scavenge the spring out of it these springs seem to be pretty universally sized and they will uh, almost all fit just perfect over a guide tube uh, like that so you just need to scavenge that spring out next you need uh, something to cut the tube with uh, so you need a utility knife or a razor blade or an exacto knife you need some needle nose pliers you need a marking pen this you won't take apart you'll just be using it to mark where the slots are in the in the tube and you need a metal nail file and it can help if you have a punch this is a 1 16th of an inch punch makes it a little bit easier to bend the needle it, you may be able to bend the needle on the paper clip though so we'll I'll try to illustrate both methods later in the video. You need a little piece of aluminum foil. You also need a skillet and a stove. And you may need a drill. Many of the ones I've made in the past, I do not need a drill, but you may need a drill. And if you need a drill, uh, the ones that work on these, the guide tubes that I'm using is a 3 seconds inch drill. So you may need a drill with a 3 seconds inch bit. Here's an overview of the gizmo, and I want to take a minute to look at each individual part. It might help you understand when we get into the construction steps later. There's a little piece of paper clip here. It's just bent in a U shape. It is to keep everything held together. There's the retractable ballpoint pen spring that will be unmodified the needle we're going to have to bend a loop in it i'll detail that in a minute and that the tube needs to be modified we need to make a slot in it big enough for the piece of paper clip to ride in there and then we need to uh, melt the end of it just a little bit to retain the spring on there so we'll detail all these steps next uh, first i'll go over the tube so here I have my tube. I'm going to put my uh, spring next to my tube and I'm going to leave a little gap on this right side uh, because I'm going to melt that. I'm trying to get the spring into its final 
assembly position or roughly in that final assembly position. And I'm just going to mark where the top of the spring is going to come on the tube. So I've marked the tube now and I need to position the slot. So about halfway, I would say about halfway the, the midline of that distance between the end of the tube and your mark, start about halfway and then, uh, just go up from there. I, I'm just going to make a line so I can uh, uh, cut it with the um, with the utility knife, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the mark on the other side as well. So I've got I've got the two slots roughly marked, and there'll be some leeway here, so don't fret too much about it. But do your best to try to get the slots in the middle of the tube if they're too far to one edge or the other then you're going to have trouble so then i've got my utility knife and i'm just going to make a slit here and the goal is to keep the slit in the middle of the tube and make it about as long or as wide however you want to say it as the nail file that i'm going to use Okay, so roughly I've got that I've got that marked and now I'm going to insert my nail file into that slot so it is wide enough for me to get the nail nail file started. Now I'm going to file the slots until they're wide enough that they can accept the uh paper clip retainer. So you can measure it as you're filing, then you take the file out and you can measure how, uh, if the slot is wide enough for a paper clip. So when you're, when you're filing this, don't push up here. Don't push like that to file. You've got to grasp this or you're going to bend and kink the tube and that won't be good. So I'm going to get it, uh, started here and then I'm just going to work it back and forth like that and it, it'll it'll take you a minute uh but you'll get that uh file down uh big enough to accept the paper clip so i'll be back in a second to show you when i'm done with that so i've got the tube uh filed and i can test whether that slot's big enough by getting the paper clip in there and uh, does the paper clip move freely? I want it to move freely. That's my goal. And uh, I'm about there on this one. Now, sometimes as you're filing, some material may build up on the outside edge of the tube. And then you can file the outside edge of the tube to get that excess material uh, down. If you don't do that, the spring would catch on the outside. Sometimes material build up on the inside of the tube. That's where you would need the drill that's where you would need the drill to get rid of the material on the inside. But a lot of times that drill is just not necessary. But uh, if you do get material inside, use a drill. The outside, use the file. Or you can shave it off with your utility knife, that excess material. Anyways, you need to get two slots that the paper clip can fit through. And, um, and then that step's done. And then we'll need to melt this tip. I'll show that next. I've got my pan warmed up. I put the aluminum foil on the pan so I don't get plastic on the pan itself. Here's my tube. I, I marked just to make it clear. I just, I marked on this tube where the slots would be. I need to melt this end just a hair and it only takes a second. If your pan's warm, just touch that aluminum foil and and then uh, you'll you'll get a little lip you'll get a little lip on that plastic and that'll be enough to retain that spring okay now we need to prep the needle so i want to position the needle next to the tube uh with a little bit of it sticking out on the left side and i want to mark where the tube comes at the top of the needle. So I want the loop to end up below that mark on the needle. I don't know if you'll be able to see that mark, but it's, it's there. So I'm going to take my punch. 
I'm going to take my punch and hold the needle um, with the mark above the punch. I'm going to hold the needle in position. Then I'm just going to bend the needle around the punch and try to get just a little more than a complete revolution in it. Now here, hopefully you can see the needle, that loop is kind of spread out. It would not be able to fit in the tube like that. So I need to, um, I need to compress it down with the, with the pliers. So once I compress it like that, then the loop will be able to fit in, um, to the tube. And then we can clip off this end here. And if we need to, if the loop won't fit in, we can compress it this way to make sure that it fits in the tube. Now we need to make our paper clip retainer. Uh, it needs to be a little wider than the spring is. So you want to pick the appropriate uh, width on the pliers. If we pick that appropriate width, I'm going to guess there, hold it in place, and then we can bend, bend both sides to get that U shape. And I can just clip off the excess there, and roughly we have our uh, U shaped piece. You can straighten it and clip it uh, however you want to get it uh, the final shape. Okay, it's assembly time. We have our four parts. We have the spring. We have our tube that's prepped with the slot and is melted, our needle with the loop in it, and our paperclip retainer. So I'm going to put the spring in place there. I'm going to put the needle loop so it's uh, facing me. I'm going to line that up with a slot. And some of this is just, it's too small for me to get zoomed in on. Uh, but anyways, we need to line up the slot with the loop in the needle. And then I need to get that uh, paper clip through the loop on the needle. And uh, for that final assembly. And again, I wish I could show it clearer, but you'll, you'll be able to figure it out. So I think I've got everything in position. And now we've got that spring action there. So our assembly is complete. I hope this video is going to help you develop your clinical skill. Please subscribe, comment, like the video below, visit my website and get signed up to be notified of more videos too. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, I hope it helps you.